Hey, have you ever wondered what those really cool swoops are between notes? Well, they're actually called glissandos, and on this week's free online saxophone lesson, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So what is a glissando? Well, a glissando is just a fast scale that connects two different notes. It could be from a low note to a high note or a high note to a low note. Now, if those notes are all joined up into one smooth glide, that's called portamento, but we're not gonna cover portamento today, we're just covering glissando. Now, mastery of glissandos involves mastery of the chromatic scale. So today we're gonna be focusing on the chromatic scale and I'm gonna show you how you put it in glissandos. So let's start with the first exercise, which is the simple chromatic scale, and it's gonna sound like this. <laughs> Hey, by the way, I've put together a little PDF to help you with your glissandos, and it's got all the exercises that you're gonna to learn today. So use the link that you can see there to get your free PDF. It's really gonna help you out with this super cool technique. Anyway, moving swiftly on, now that you've got your chromatic scale dialed in, let's look at how you connect it between two notes. And it's quite simple, but there is a little secret. And that little secret is to make sure that you're not playing the glissandos too loud. So you back off the volume of the glissandos between your two principal notes. So you kind of emphasize the first note and the second note and back off that volume on the chromatic scale that links the two things. So I've put together a little exercise to help you do this. Uh, remember, you can get that on the free PDF and the exercise is going to sound like this. <laughs> Hey, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm not in my usual Getty Sax Together studio, it's because I'm at my parents' house in Scotland. Mummy should come along and say hi. <laughs> say hi. Hi, everyone. You've got to look at the camera. Where is it? Up here. Oh. <laughs> hi, everyone. My mum. I'm working on my phrase like a pro course, which is going to be awesome. It's going to be coming up in the next few months. So definitely watch this channel for full details about phrase like a uh, pro, which includes glissandos as one tiny part, of course. Anyway, moving on with this whole thing, let's talk about how you're going to put glissandos into real world playing, because that's the most important thing of all, right? <laughs> So I've come up with a little exercise, it's called Gliss Over It. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a tune that you like, I've just taken Misty as a little example. Uh, it should be a slow moving tune, so nothing too fast with a bunch of eighth notes. Pro more like a ballad or a nursery rhyme or a national anthem, something like that. And you're gonna connect up every single melody note as long as it changes more than a semitone, you're going to connect them all up with glissandos to really dial in this glissandos technique. So let's have a little look at Misty. I'll just play a bit of Misty to show you what I mean about this exercise. It's going to sound like this. So that's how you're going to practice your glissandos. And then, of course, you're not going to do it between every note when you're actually jamming or improvising or performing your favorite song. But that's going to give you the tools that you need to make absolutely fantastic glissandos. And it's going to replicate that really beautiful communicative swooping down that you hear singers do between notes. That's what we're all about in saxophone is making that saxophone sing and really making it move your audience and communicating that feeling that only the saxophone can do. So these glissandos are gonna play a really important role in that. 
So that's all we've got time for this week. I hope you really start glissing like an absolute pro after practicing these simple techniques and it's really going to enhance your performance. One more time, don't forget to grab your PDF, which you can see uh, there. You can click the link in the description as well. If you bought me a coffee, I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee, you can use the link that you can see there. So until next week, make sure that you practice hard, practice smart and enjoy your music. Take it easy, guys. It's called Gliss. What is it called? Oh God, the lippy's going on. <laughs> I don't want to look stupid.